Crystal Jordan, be honest and myself, Mr. Kevin Davis, we are Music Love Life. And welcome to another episode. <laughs> that one was yeah. funny. Music Love Life. Yeah. I feel I feel like Donnie Simpson or somebody. I, I said Don Cornelius last time. I, I mean But that was different though. It was like a it was like a build up. This one had a little bit of a I guess it could be a little bit of a Donnie Simpson. Like I don't a remember. smooth. I like Sherry Carter better, so Of course you did. Why? Because she light skinned? No, she's just prettier than... Uh, Donnie Simpson had beautiful eyes. It did beautiful eyes. Oh, it does nothing for me, though. No, nah, I'm you sure? sorry. Yeah, I don't... I'm, you can say that. But can I'm... you acknowledge that he had very... I mean, his eyes were definitely, you know, like, different than most different, of Different, okay. Eyes. Yeah, they were... I mean, they weren't different than... He had the eyes of a man. So they were... what? You can notice that they're, like, shockingly green. I mean, lots of people have green eyes, just not black people. Okay, but did you, but you it it did draw you in. There's always one feature about a person that that stands out more than others. You don't think so? Hey man, if sure. you watch video so because of Donnie Simpson. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say I that. So, so you took, it, you took it to another place. All I said was that you noticed he was so that he captivating. Had, that he had green eyes. All right, man. This is this is that. No. So what drew you, what drew you in about Sherry Carter? I mean, she's a beautiful woman. I think that's why she was on the show. She's beautiful. Okay. And I and I, and it's okay for me to say a woman is beautiful. It doesn't make me you know, any less of a woman, just like it won't make you any less of a man to acknowledge if a man is nice looking. Oh, okay. Because actually attractiveness is a science. Like you can tell, people can acknowledge when other people are attractive. There's it's a actual, science? Yeah, there's a science behind it. Mm. Did you know that? What, what, can, what is the science called? This, the science actually is, it's about symmetry. So if a person has, you know, the more symmetrical their face is, right. then the more attractive they are. So you're saying, no, there, there, is a, there is science behind right. Attractiveness. Yeah, so you don't. But there isn't science. Isn't a, attractiveness isn't a science. Okay, there's science behind attractiveness. Like, like yeah. the 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 science of plants is called botany. <laughs> what is the science of beauty? You know what, guys? There's a science behind it. But that's, but, but you're right. But you're wrong because even I'm not still, wrong. no, even still, I am not attracted to another man. I'm not saying you're attracted. Attractive and acknowledging attractiveness are two different things. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. I can say that Sherry Carter is beautiful, but because I'm not attracted you're to her. Bi- you're almost you're bi- curious. I am not. What, All what I are can you say, I, 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 we've talked what about this. Hell? All I can so say, I say is that Donnie is Simpson cute? probably pulled a few off his eyes. But then you're acknowledging there's something about his eyes that is different than yours. I you're wouldn't know what that, that is. Yes, you would. I don't the think his eyes bullshit. were that great. It's I, the genesis something. His eyes were not that great. He has a recessive gene. <laughs> 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 I'm oh just saying. It's just hate. It's low-key hate. It's low-key hate is what it is. It's low-key hate. <laughs> I'm not hating. You're, high, and, you're and, hating. And I don't even think they're recessive genes. I was just playing. Recessive know, genes are yeah. not bad genes. I don't, we yeah. have that, for some reason, that thing came about where now a dominant genes means it's better. But right. recessive and dominant, there's no better or worse than dominant recessive. No. But, but I'm sure that, I'm dominant sure. genes are always black. They're always black features. Mm. I'm sure that there are certain guys that I could pull up some pictures and you guys would, you guys would not want to acknowledge it. But deep inside... Your pupils will be enlarging a little bit because you're looking at an attractive face. Oh, okay. I think we should do a test like that. You would you know, do you're put a, when a you, sensor on our no, dick? No, that's what happens when you see something that's pleasant. Your pupils get enlarged. They dilate slightly. Mm-hmm. You experience a little bit more of a... a yeah, more, a sweat on our brow. No, not sweat on the brow. A little endorphin rush. <laughs> no. What? Come on, I ain't never had no endorphin rush off no dude. Never. Yeah. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. He takes his shirt off and he's ripped up. You know that that's good. You had, had a little adrenaline pumping. <laughs> so you think, honestly, you think that majority of guys, I'm not saying that some guys don't, you mm-hmm. think that the majority of guys see a dude with his shirt off and get a feeling about that? No, I don't. I'm being, I'm, I'm exaggerating to, to, to irritate you. But I do think that if you line up three guys and one of them has a six pack and is, you know, all muscled out and there's one that's super skinny and one that's super fat, you know that guy's body is a good thing. Like when you look at men's health and they show you this is the body that this is the body that you should be trying to get. You know that that's a good thing. Right, but you're yeah. okay, but you're what you're doing is you're saying that the tall, dark and handsome thing is real. 
It is and that real. is the, that is how everyone should look. No, I didn't say that. I said that that's. Like, you just put an example of a fat person, a skinny person, and a guy with a six pack. But I'm saying yes because we're we're talking and you're about telling attractiveness. The six, pack is, the six pack is the right. But we're see, attractiveness has been taught to you, and that's what I'm attractiveness saying. Attractiveness is not. It's, again, there's a science behind it. People are attracted to women are attracted to broad shoulders because that suggests the man is able to is he he's strong, and that's a that's a that's an instinctive trait that women are drawn to. So what what instinctive instinctive trait do six packs? Provide it's strength, stop uh, it. endurance. That's not. That's, I think it that is. Isn't. That's bullshit. That it whole that whole bullshit. blonde hair, tall, whatever. That's that's all bullshit. That it crystal is, is merging two no, ideas. No, because okay, with women, there, there's there's the the there it there's proof that when women have rounded hips, some, small waist, it excites men because it's actually a sign of like being able to bear children. So it's an instinctive trait that you are drawn to. Right, but you're and mixing two. And you think two. that you just like it because she's got a fat ass. Yeah, but ass. you're mixing two things though. You, when you're saying like a six pack abs or whatever compared to a skinny or fat guy, that isn't that isn't science. That's something that's been fed to you. Blonde it's hair, blue. It's not been fed to you. Yes, it has. If Blonde it, hair, no, blue because eyes if an animal, been, we're talking about, if we're talking about from an instinctive nature, if something is too thin, is is extremely thin, then that suggests it's not healthy because that's actually where everything, the root of everything, is like okay, this looks healthy. This is this is what is a, a symbol of someone being healthy. Thick hair, long hair. It's, it's a healthy thing. It makes you feel like this person is able to bear children, and we're able to do that together. Where if someone is extremely fat, it may suggest that they're not healthy. But see, bearing children, all oh, that has nothing to do with beauty. But I, yes, I just did a, a, a quick. That's what I was saying. Yes, I just did a quick Google search. Okay. And I, I found a word I've, I have never seen before, mm-hmm. but the word is kalology. Okay. K a l o l o g y. Okay. That is the uh, part of philosophy, the branch of philosophy that deals with the nature, expression, and perception of beauty. Okay. As in the fine arts. So, Kalology. Kalology. What yeah. does that mean? It, he just, he that, just, I, just, I know, I understand, I just, but I'm just, no, but <laughs> Provided a fact to defend your no, no, I'm, okay, but I'm just, but, but I'm saying behind that, the kalology, because I did, I actually did my thesis paper on this. Uh oh, you should know way more about this then. Than you're, <laughs> Man, you're, you it's been a while. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> time Googling shit. It's been a while since I turned that in, but right. I'm just saying, <laughs> there, there is, it, there, everything is related to what seems healthy and to push. The, the the species forward. So animals are attracted. A lioness is attracted to the strong lion because you know he fights and he's able. It proves he's able to fight and defend them. Um, I know some wiry guys who are skinny but really strong though. They don't have six pack well, abs. Well, you know, we, you know, nature goes by what's we we don't nature doesn't touch outliers. Okay, we're just we're going by status quo. Okay, so all I'm saying is I agree with you that there is science involved in the way that we pick a mate. Right. Well, attractiveness what we're, what we're is, drawn to. Attractiveness is not one of those, though. That's some other bullshit because attractiveness was fed to us. Right now in, in this world, mm-hmm. the epitome of attractiveness, if you allow the the, the powers that be right. to call it, we say blue eyes, blonde hair is the epitome, is the right. top, the right. peak of attractiveness. Right. That's not science. I think that's, that's part of what, right. no, what the fight that. is on social media is that so many people are fighting to redefine what that definition of beauty is. Well, I agree with that, but I think there are certain traits in every culture, every race, every group of people that are considered basic basic traits that are considered attractive. And those are based on what is considered healthy, strong, um, able to bear children, able to provide, able to defend, those things. Now, color and 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 everything else that we that we look at is more Racial driven, race driven to me, but I'm talking about just shoulders. Yeah, but that's not how we started. Race. I don't know. I feel like ugly is a universal language. Yeah, it is. Like you can be ugly in any country. No, I agree, and you can be attractive, and I mean, but there are base things that are considered attractive. You, Actually, big eyes are considered. Attractive you frame you frame world. this as a, a, an idea that we would be attracted to a man's eyes, though. I, w- I framed so it as you would be able to acknowledge that mm-hmm. they were attractive. Not that you would actually be attracted to them. I don't think there's a difference. But that you, there, well, there is. Things it's, that you are attracted to are attractive to you. No, I can say that a woman is beautiful and not be sexually attracted to her. Yes, I, I can. I think you are. No, I'm not. I, think you, I, I actually think you are, though. I do think I, you like girls. I, think you don't, I don't think you want to be with so a girl, done. but you like the idea of it. No, I 
don't. That has nothing to do with acknowledging some. I can acknowledge a, a puppy is cute and not want to be with the puppy. Not the same. It is the same. That is the same. Mm. Beauty is across the board. You can see a beautiful dog, a beautiful horse, a beautiful car. Do you, like, would it's you just rather beauty. have the, the dog with a six pack, the skinny dog, or the fat dog? I would always rather have the more fit dog. Because you want to fuck him? You see what I'm saying? No, I just then like why? pretty things. Why? I just like pretty things. My ho- my pretty. horse was pretty. My dog. I just like pretty, pretty. things. That is that is pretty. Now we're talking about pretty and and health. But that usually suggests health. You're just making. I, no, I, will, I will say a sick person is, tends to not be as attractive. Yeah, but think skinny isn't sick. Think about it. No, no, no. Think about it. when a person is underweight. I'm not saying like skinny. Maya Campbell. There we go. Maya Campbell. Is it Maya or Maya? Maya. Maya. This is not going right. to be a good example. Maya Campbell. No, <laughs> when she was on in the house, She's when beautiful. she was. Gorgeous. Yeah. She was attractive. She was healthy. She's she, a right? drug she addict was, now. It's not the same. How are we going to compare this to when, that? When she got sick, man. She's not sick. She's not sick. She's an addict. That is she's a sickness. Sick. That's a mm-hmm. sickness. Addiction is a sickness. Let's don't do that. It's a sickness. It is. Yours, that's a good example. She can't pass the physical. The point is, you can take a person who is absolutely beautiful and healthy and they can get a disease such as addiction or something else and you can see mm-hmm. their skin becomes not so vibrant. Their hair falls out and that is... And then later someone would look at them and think, oh my God, they're not attractive. But really that's, I'm telling you. But that's you, not, majority of people walking around is. are skinny, fit, or fat. Those aren't sick. None of those three are sick. Fit is always going to be considered more attractive. I don't necessarily know that that's true. I do. Most dudes don't want a strong ass woman. She's they want fit. A woman, they want a She's woman more that, fit than Crystal they is. Want a wo- they, <laughs> they want a woman with a small waist and, and rounded hips, and correct? And strong, strong arms. Be- and I didn't say that. I said because men, men are attracted to women that are able to bear children. So women now are you're attracted saying, to men that are able to be strong and provide. So now you're saying that women like fit. Yes. Okay, well then that's why I don't think Donnie Simpson's eyes are fucking attractive. His eyes are not fit. They're just beautiful. She's missing the point, right? <laughs> is, she, is she missing the point? It's going in circles. There are certain things that chemically I'm going to be attracted okay, to, that's and it true. won't be a man's green eyes okay, ever. That's, okay, I got ever. you. I got you. I could, I could, I can. It doesn't matter how great his eyes that's are to true, you because that's not I what you guys are attracted to. I don't see them the same to. way. Okay, I can feel. And they just got two eyeballs. That's but what you I look notice at. that they're different than see? everyone else's. See? Do you not notice that? Of course, you notice it. Thank different. you, Kevin. You, Thank you. Yeah, I can see. I she can has see weakened her argument. Brown eyes and and. He's beige or what? I, of course, you can see shit. Like, what's that got to do? Which with- one is better? <laughs> That's what she wants you to do. I'm gonna pick her every day. Dog. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't even matter that every I'm better. Day, it, we all know that I'm better, but it doesn't even matter. You have to pick her. You cool, bro? <laughs> see, see how that works? How did you? How it's did all you come built- to the conclusion that you're better? I mean, come on, come on, come on. I don't think you're better. Come on. First of all, come on. No, I mean, no. Come on. Nah, nah, come I'm on. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. <laughs> this is a dumb argument. It's, it was dumb when you said that we were attracted to Donnie Simpson's eyes. It, it I didn't started say attracted. wrong. Attracted. I said you could tell his eyes were attractive. Same shit. Anyway, moving on. Clearly, there's a line between uh, beauty or, or attractiveness, right? Attractivity, whatever. I don't know what like the fuck that. the word is. I like okay. it. We'll go with and, it. And 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 sexuality, right? Right. Clearly, like, there's there's you. a line because there. there there are men that I think are attractive, but I'm not attracted to them because they're not my type. But I can acknowledge that they're good looking. <sighs> Do you all have that with? <laughs> so you, who's someone? <laughs> who's like someone that you? Blankly. Who's someone that you think is attractive, but you're not attracted to? Boris Kojo. I think a, Boris Kojo is a beautiful man, but that's I'm not. He doesn't. He doesn't get my engine going. Hey, that's not my type. So I would, you know, but I can I can see that, that he's very totally attractive. That is totally your type. What? That's not Tall, my type. Tall, muscular, like that's not my type. That's all. That's all you ever talk about. I. It's not my type. I can. There's a very di- difference between that and my type. I don't She's believe stuttering. her. Yeah, I don't yeah. believe. No, I don't. I don't believe I'm that. telling you, I've had this conversation with my girlfriends before. They're, so every, Boris Kojo trying to fuck you? Like, nah, bro. I'm, I'm good. not into that. No. Uh, sorry, I just, <laughs> I just don't. I don't feel it. So I you don't guys, know. every girl yes. that you, every girl, even is something aren't attracted to. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, even even out. many that we're not attracted to, we do. Yes, that's you so know. Is, can there be there someone? are ugly women that we've been sexually attracted to? Like, you said we have babies with happen? them. Oh shit! Remember, you said we get them pregnant. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people got ugly baby moms. So you can be sexually attracted to someone that you're not attracted to. How does that work? How does that work, guys? Um, do you know how people just have that thing? 
sometimes. No. Uh, yeah, we talked about it with Rihanna. Like Rihanna, I don't think that she's I think gorgeous. She's beautiful. I don't think she's. I don't think she's gorgeous. But she's got that that other thing. I mean, but she's a. That's a crazy example. I mean, she's one of the considered one of the most beautiful men in the world. That's so. just that's just all lies, though. Oh, just, I think that has. I mean, you know what? I think I think the stage is. of life you're in has something to do with it as well. Because hmm. when you when you're young and you got a high sex drive, you fuck almost anything. But are you attracted to it? And when you're old and you've mm. given up on life, you pretty much fuck everything too. So yeah, like, only, that middle, only that middle area life. is good. You know, that, that <laughs> but qualifies I'm saying, is there, is whether there you will Is there something that you're seeing in that woman that's drawing you to her even though you don't think she's physically attractive? She's got the whole... Maybe she's throwing it at fits, you. I don't know. That fits the, thing, the tool I got. That's really like, just barbaric. It's like when the little kid puts the circle in the circle and the square in the square. You know what? <laughs> this is a time. This would be a good time for little Duval's Hit single, smile, bitch. <laughs> I just feel like it's a smile, bitch moment. You like that song? I like I like the energy behind it. I think the fact that he's trying to encourage people to be happy regardless of their life is admirable. Well, I like is it. that what he's doing? Is that what, yeah. is that what his intent was? That was the intent. It he was to make that? people smile, yeah. Like 100 Days of Happy, that's, yeah. that's what Duval was doing. I like it. Shouts okay. out to Lil Duval. And it's a song that he's got Snoop on too, right? And Snoop is on it and, and also Ball Greasy. Who's that? I thought that was him. Just like a, I thought that was like his alter ego. No, that's him. no, no. That that guy had actually had a song, the um the Freddie Jackson remake. Um, Freddie Jackson remake. So yeah. this is a real artist, Ball Green. Yeah, yeah. I don't even like saying okay, that. Okay, so we'll, we'll, that we'll check that out. You don't know about it either. Um, I'm familiar with the with the Smile Bitch song. <laughs> right. I, I, I've you didn't seen, know Ball Greasy. I Greasy? follow him on on IG, but no, I don't know who Ball Greasy is. I didn't oh, know that guys. was a, I didn't know that was a dude. Isn't it crazy that I know more about? I'm I'm more in the know with that sounds like a joke. Ball no, greasy? it's not. It's not a joke. No, I mean, oh, I saw you're it. right. Ball Greasy is sweeping the nation. <laughs> right. <laughs> he had a hit. Uh, he had a hit hip hop record. We must be no, under a rock. Yes, he did. He did I, have I'm going to play it for Ball them. Ball Greasy. He did not have I'm a hit. Play, where yes, was he did. I? Oh my god! You know what? You know what? Ten years from now, we're all going to be asking ourselves, "Where were you when you found out about Ball Greasy?" Ball Greasy, you're full of shit. Do you like the record though? It's fun. When it's I, dope. When I see, I like the fact that it's just telling people if you're, you know, if you're able to wake up in the morning, smile, bitch, quit being so sad about your life and get over it. Hey, you know what? You are gonna have to loosen up if you are gonna sing this record. You know. Oh. If, <laughs> you, I just have to be. When myself. you wake up in wow. the morning, this nigga actually got records. I told you. You thought I was lying. <laughs> what the fuck? Top. Okay, what songs will we know about Ball Grease? We gotta go. I, I, I won't know a, any of them, but uh, nice and slow. It was a nice Freddie Jackson. Nice, nice and, and slow? slow. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah. How, you guys have never heard this. I hear a lot of records. I don't know who the artist but is. But have you heard the song? Have you heard it? Let me get to the. Okay. Right. Let's get a little further. I mean, that's Freddie Jackson. It's the same. It's the, right. It's not changed. Hey. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so it's not that great though. <laughs> <laughs> it, it isn't that great of a record, but yeah, I never heard the of this guy. The best part is the sample, which is awesome because that was a great song. Nice and slow was a great song. That little bitty, not, 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 not. that was the best part? No, the song is great. I mean, the fact that they referenced a great classic song was awesome. Yes. They didn't reference the song. That was awful. That whole beat, all that was, never mind. <laughs> but Iggy Azalea has a good song out with, uh, really? With uh, who is it? Tiger, maybe. <laughs> what are we doing? Music sound like love a, life. Sound like a strip club song. You almost made me choke for a moment there. I just <laughs> now, like Iggy, what the fuck? Iggy, Iggy Azalea. Go ahead. I'm trying to see. I get them confused. What I get mean? the. This the white chick from Australia who pretends yeah. like she, right. she rap black. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not down. That with was that. T.I.'s I think, get to somebody. But you're 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 not down with that because what? Because everybody else says it's not cool no, to like think her. She's whack. I think the song is okay. It bounces. To me, it bounces. I just, I, well, that's all we need. Sound like a great strip club song. Wow. And Takashi 6 9 got a song with Nicki Minaj out that's okay, too. I did listen to that, actually. <laughs> I on haven't the way heard over. that. It's his song, She's that. On It? I don't but know. But you know what? So. Dude got a, t it's all over TMZ, man. Dude got a beat up and arrested. Or excuse me, not arrested, but a pistol whip, robbed, Ooh. hospitalized. Uh, yeah. Six yeah. nine, uh, yeah, Takashi six nine. Well, oh. this was a, I, I, unfortunately. I mean, I, I heard people saying this was this was long, a long time coming. They were like, he's he's gonna 
Well, you know, when you're Travel. on the internet talking a lot of shit, man, eventually somebody <laughs> gonna see you face to face. So would would I be considered on the internet since we're doing this show? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want any smoke, none. I don't want smoke. <laughs> Keep your smoke to yourself. You just called Ball Greasy song not that great. You it's not, not that great. See. I can't say that. I can't I'm say I didn't saying, like the song. Just, I mean, you can. I'm just saying you don't mean I want to see him in these streets. The smile oh, song. Oh no, death by opinion. <laughs> the smile song. Smile song wasn't that great either. So we can get back to that. Well, I, I mean, it's not a real song. Yeah, it's, it's a joke, it's right? It's not a real song. It's a parody, yeah, and it's yeah, yeah. It, it's just mm-hmm. to lighten, to make you smile, lighten your yeah. day. In that it, sense, it's good. Doesn't song. have to be and you so know what? serious. It, in a way, it did remind me of like uh, Afro Man, like. <laughs> The time I got high, that that shit, yeah. it, it the smile bitch kind of it put me in the same. It's frame like a of mind. slap. It's like a slap in the face. Get over yourself. So is it okay Move that on. he called you a bitch? Could, well, we, could me and Kevin just, call using, you a bitch? No, he's using the word bitch. It doesn't have a gender attached. It's just everybody is bitch. Yeah. So it's okay if, if okay. He's not talking to women. He's just saying. So smile, if I bitch, call you a cr- bitch, but I say it in no. a genderless way. No, I'm saying for Lil Duval, when he says, Why does he get bitch, special treatment? He's just speaking to everyone. He's not speaking specifically to females, so it's okay. But if a female is listening to it, he's speaking to that person well, listening. Well, if you listen to it, he's speaking to you. I haven't heard it. Well, we'll play it when, we'll play it when, the, when we I start. actually have heard it. It's of okay. Of course you have. It's yeah. okay. Bitch, smile. <laughs> oh, so you can say it to me, but I can't say it to you. You say bitch no, first. We can all say no, you it. said bitch first. If we all sh- if we all call each other that, it's okay. <laughs> okay, fine. So you guys are some bitches. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. <laughs> you guys, especially Chris, are some bitches. Can I say that? <laughs> This buzz for you. Good job. <laughs> right. Enjoy that. No, nah, but it's, it's a cool record, you know, for what it is, for fun, for the summer. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a pick me up. There's so much. I'm so tired of negativity online. Like, it's just overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, I, it's always some bad situation. I saw a video of someone on Facebook. I am. I have been unfollowing and unfriending anyone who puts up violent videos. Like, I don't want to see someone get stabbed. I don't want to see somebody's eye bloodied from being beat up. I understand domestic violence happens. I understand police brutality. But I'm just, I don't want to go on social media and see that. So I appreciate, and then between that and the girls with surgery and the guys, I'm just, you know, but you, you want, bitch. You want the internet to be a happy place? I mean, does it have to be filled with blood and 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 fat and fake asses? I mean, I just, I mean, maybe it does. I just need a break, and I, I, mean, I appreciate the, Lil Duval for the break. I just appreciate the break. The internet is nothing more than the visualization of <laughs> people's darkest thoughts. Well, I'm unfollowing and unfriending people with extremely dark thoughts on a regular basis. I'm good on that. If you're going to put up bloody gore on your page, I'm unfollowing you. I'm unfriending you. Okay. It's not what I want to fill my life with. Mm. I get on social media so little that I, you never see any of that. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, even the situ- like the people dying. I don't want to see that. Like I can read it. I'm good. But the, sometimes those images don't leave your don't leave. Like I'm, you see something that sticks in your head. I'm good on that. I'm no, no I totally that. agree. But do you watch action films? Not really. Not really. Not really. That's not my thing. Like, if something is, has like too much... Like, you see The Purge? Oh, no, I'm not seeing you know, The Purge. Yeah, I would never see The Purge. No, that's not my That's That's not yeah, my thing. Yeah, but there, there's a real barrier between that and your brain. Like, you can you can discern Some people it different. is. For me, it's not... And I think everybody is different. Like, I if I see something like that, even though I know it's actors and I know it's... I, sometimes that can stay with me, so I don't really watch stuff like that. So the reason why I say that is because movies like The Purge, which is shot in... A different frame. Oh, this is about to be real nerdy, mm-hmm. but cinema normally is shot at a slower frame rate than some video is, right? So when you speed up the frame rate, it makes it look more like me and you talking to each other because we see an extremely fast frame rate, right? But cinema is slowed down. I think it's twenty four point seven or something like that frames per second. And so you can discern the difference in seeing that car chase or that person cutting somebody's head off or whatever. Mm. But if you speed up the frame rate, it looks more realistic to like what we see in our with our eyes in real life. Oh wow! So things like the like the Saw franchise, those types of movies, they're a little bit faster on the frame rate, and it looks a little bit more like high quality or low quality in the same way because it you see that stuff happening and it looks like it's really happening as opposed to something that looks like a cinema, a cinema right. frame rate where it's obviously... Right, it's, it's exaggerated. Yeah. Right. Wow. But like, you know what? You, that, you're yeah. exactly right. That was really nerdy. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay, well. But it was, I, mean, but it was, I, I didn't know that, but that's great information. But it explains why. Do you remember when, when we were in college, there was that video, Faces of Death, mm-hmm. where yeah. it was the actual... And I remember... When, 
So Faces my college friends wanted to watch that. I'm like, that. I, I saw one situation. I was like, I'm done. Because you can't, it was real. And I'm just, you know, I couldn't I couldn't handle that. But I guess if you see something that older movies is like really slowed down, I guess. Right. I don't know, but it just looks ridiculous. Yeah. The blood is ketchup. It doesn't look real. So it's different. But seeing things now, things look so realistic. I don't watch stuff like that. And I'm free. You know, I was dating this guy that forced, like, it was like, oh, you should watch these kind of movies. And I'm like, I don't like that kind of thing. So now... Even like music, I just I unfollow people that don't post what I want to see. I'm not going to see movies that, you know, are not going to make my make me feel good. I think you just surround, you create a world that you enjoy. I, think everyone I do, should do feel that. like you should be like I, I don't have any problem with someone censoring or filtering what they want to see or what mm-hmm. they want their children to see. Right, right. But I do think it can hinder you in a way to walk around life with blinders on. Well, that's not. I mean, right. that movie you're is not, not fully real. aware of the things that are really happening in the world, and so when you're faced with something that's really real, that's different. You're though. caught off guard. No, that's different. I mean, I will watch the news because that's when I'm going to f- see what's going on. Fake news. <laughs> I don't go to the movies to see. That's not reality. So me wa- not watching the purge does not mean I'm not going to know what's going on. I just don't want extra shit in my head that has nothing to do with my reality. And I think we shape our reality, right? We all believe that what you speak and what you what you put into your brain comes, you know, becomes your reality. So why would I constantly put things in that I don't so how want do you, to deal with? So how do you gain perspective on things? How do you how do you do that? I think if, not watching only, entertainment is not that. No, but how do you how do you re- get true perspective if you're not accepting in the things that aren't in your paradigm? I think that everyone creates their own perspective. And again, I don't have any problem with reality. I have a problem with entertainment and and propaganda. And I think that's what that all is. I mean, cuz you know, like we talked about with the with the um the children and the uh the the immigration pe- what we see on social media is not necessarily reality. So it's what someone has decided we should be excited about. So if I if I subtract myself from that equation, that doesn't mean that I'm not in touch with reality. In fact, it could mean the opposite, that someone else that's just digesting all of that, they're, cre- they're, they're creating this reality that may not even be real. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I was telling you guys when I interviewed Bow Wow, he was saying that when people, when he did the Bow Wow challenge, right? Well, he, did, well, he didn't start with a challenge. He did that you know, a picture of him on a jet and acted like it, you know, posted like yeah, it was his, caught. right? He got caught. But he said, so online, people were making fun of him, right? So online, it was like, bow wow challenge, blah, 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 blah. He said, so if you were to just look at your, look at Instagram, you would think that nobody really was messing with him. Like he was getting clowned and his, he was in a bad place. He said, but when, when, when out in public, people were still embracing him. He said, the internet will make people think that something is real that's not. So on the internet, you're getting clowned, but you go out to see somebody in a club or at an event and it's all love. You know what I mean? So I think that even like the, the girls we talk about with the fake butts and all this, that have a million likes. But in real life, if you saw that woman, a million men may not be running after her. I mean, some probably would, but it's not going to be the same level of what we see on social media. It creates a fake world. Fame is, I do agree with you in that because fame is totally relative. Um, I mean, hell, even even Jay-Z, there's somebody somewhere that doesn't know who Jay-Z yeah, is. Doesn't care. And right? He, mm. We saw that we happen in France. They were in France and a guy didn't know who he was and he actually responded negatively. He did not like the fact that the guy didn't know who he was. It like insulted him, but you're right. So I think I think that people... I, the older I get, the more I realize that I can create the world that I want to live in. So what the things that I want to engage and I want to move forward with, I, I surround myself with those things. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like friends. If you, wanna, if you want friends that are constantly talking about popping bottles and going to the club, then that becomes, you guys go all the time and that's, you think that everybody's doing that. When the reality is a lot of people are never going, you know what I mean? So it, I think you create what you want around you. I think that um, it needs to be said that while people were, if, I'm, I'm talking to you right now, listeners slash viewers. If you made a joke about Bow Wow and the private jet, I think you need to look, just look and see how much it costs to even rent a private jet or get right. a ticket on a, a seat on a private jet. Right. You can't afford it ever. <laughs> so even if he just rented right. it, even if he just got a seat, you can't afford that shit. So you talking so why is shit. It funny? Right. Like, so it you talking shit about somebody who. Yeah. Spend way more to get on that private jet, whether it's his or not. You can't afford it. Stop talking shit. <laughs> well, that was that was that was just it. Is that I think that was the the lie or the joke because he presented it as if he was on a private jet 
And a fan actually said he's not on a private jet. Was following him. He's yeah. not on a private jet. Yeah. That nigga right there. <laughs> you know Which is funny. Saying? But I don't think it's any different than I've heard men saying that women, you know, shoot themselves at angles so that they look smaller than they really are. And right. in person, filters, the woman is like filters. filters. Women are notorious for filters. I don't think filters. it's anything different. I mean, I think men are notorious for acting like they have more money than they do. I know a guy on Instagram, we're not going to say his name. He gets in, you know, another guy's car, and all of a sudden, yeah, I'm chilling in the Maybach. And it's like, that's not your Maybach. Like, Why are we saying his name? I'm not going to say his name. It's friend of the show? Something friend like of yours. that. <laughs> Something like yeah. that. Stop flexing. <laughs> yeah. No, but was Bow Wow actually on the plane that day when he when he put that in? He was, well, no, he, he, was he, he explained. He, no, no, but I'm no, saying, no, was no, he no. actually on the no, commercial flight that took a picture of it? He explained it. what happened. You you can buy a seat on a private jet. Right. And he said a lot of people have, it's a, it's a, um, it's a group where you pay a certain amount of money and then you have access app. to... No, 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 not an app. It's more exclusive than it's, that. Yeah, yeah. it's because we get... I get the the emails where you can be a part of this if you have celebrity clients or or uh, influencers of a certain, I guess, affluency, then you can buy this membership and then if, if there's a private jet available, you can have a seat, but it's not right. yours. And a lot of people do it. Bow Wow just got caught. You know what I mean? But he said that, you know, a celebrity had come over his house and he'll have like a new pair of shoes and the guy be like, okay, let me take a pair, a picture with these shoes, but not post it. They're Bow Wow's. You know what I mean? Like, right. it's just everybody does it. You yeah. Know? Well, you know what? I think it's, I think blurry lines are the devil anyway. <laughs> like, uh, uh, we have, like, seriously, if you don't know clearly what something is or something is not, <laughs> right? what it does do and what it does not do, you can get fucked up. Right. For real. Like, it, it literally could be a life or death situation. I don't know where you're going with that. I don't but... know life or death, but I think that there was somebody that you were saw on, on uh, Facebook mm -hmm. that had a tricky situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's a good point. Life, it could be something that you see may not be what it is. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this post. Just saying. I'm going to read this okay. post, and I want you guys to give me your opinion, but I want you to listen first because this is a disclaimer. This is a friend of mine. Um, and it's just very interesting what's happened after this post. So right. he says, um, I recently met someone at an event who was an attractive young lady. We talked on doing some potential business, but it never happened. Fast forward three months, I happened to be on IG and saw a photo and asked the person would they be interested in going out with me to an event. They agreed, but later in the day sent me a DM stating they were not going to make it. I didn't see it. So when I showed up, I was like, I text them like, hey, where are you at? They referred me to their their pre, uh, previous DM message. This was completely my fault. Once I got home, I reached out to her and, sh and she called me back. After some time on the phone, she said very casually, I am transgender. I asked her to repeat herself, which she boldly did. I ran across a show called Pose, which prepared me for this situation. I respectfully said, I'm a heterosexual male and I don't roll like that. The problem was, and please don't judge me, I couldn't tell the difference over the phone based off the questions I asked and the DM conversation. Now I'm messed up in the mind, and although I don't want to discriminate, what am I supposed to do? The women say they have it bad. I was looking for a woman and got someone who was pretending to be a woman. I'm feeling embarrassed, but I am man enough to have a discussion about it. So he feels bad because he was not able to tell based on the voice and the conversation um, the questions that he, you know, posed to her and the, I guess the interaction they had, he was not able to tell that it was a male. And so he felt, I think he kind of was like, you know, am I okay? Got to do more due diligence. Ah, what does that mean though? What does that mean? Like what, mean, what questions, does that mean? what questions would you ask someone that you saw? Check. No, you're, I, you didn't do a background check on your girlfriend the first day you met her. Did you? <laughs> you do. Okay, so here's here's what you do, in in my opinion. And be, be, and be realistic. Yeah, I'm being realistic. One of the things that I, <laughs> I, I see people doing, and particularly with strangers, is that they, they may be more reluctant to give them their social media. Okay. Right? To, to befriend someone via social media. Hmm. I feel like that's the exact opposite of what you do. Why? Because, especially on Facebook, it allows you to see how many mutual friends you have. Mm -hmm. Do you know anyone in common? Do you know anyone who may know about this person's history? Someone who may have worked with them? Someone who may have went to school with them? Someone that may have walked that path? Um, 
with them so that you have a little bit more insight as to whom this person is. It also gives you the opportunity to see if a person has posted any childhood pictures, right? So if they have pictures of themselves as a little boy or a little girl, you can see that Mm -hmm. and ascertain whether or not the person standing before you is has always been whom they say they are today. That's that's weird. And the reason why I say yeah. that is because, for instance, guests that we've had on this show and other shows on the network, I, from time to time, will go and, and research those people mm-hmm. to find out something, a good question to ask them. Right. And it may be that I just wasn't looking at it in a sexual way, so mm-hmm. I, I wasn't looking for that type of thing. Right. But I, I wouldn't have known. If I saw someone yeah. of our guests and one of our guests happened to have Previously been a man or a woman, I wouldn't right. have, I wouldn't have been able to discern that from Instagram, right? Maybe, maybe Facebook. Well, I do, maybe I, if, Facebook. If, it depends I, on what they choose to share. Too, right. you're, you're assuming yeah. that person has chosen to share everything. I just don't. Th- I think that that's a that's a answer that you give after you're thinking about the situation. But I don't think nine times out of ten. When you meet someone, just meet someone. Yeah, you're, like you you're just not met. thinking, is this a man or is this a woman? I mean, especially right. if it looks and sounds and you don't see. I mean, I remember years ago they were like, oh, you can look at Adam's apple or whatever. Right. But if a person man looks. Man hands. Jerry Seinfeld had a whole show about women with yeah, man hands. Man hands. But some women just have big hands, and that's just unfortunate. I mean, but, but, but my point is the idea, and I will even say this like, when I meet someone, I don't necessarily want to know how other people have seen them like that. You right. know what I mean? Like, it could be that this person, you know, this is who they were. They've gone through some changes. They've matured, and I'm getting to know them in a different way. I don't necessarily think that if if one of my, if I, if I met a guy today and he talked to a guy that I, well, I'm pretty, I guess pretty much the same, but if he asked a high school friend about me, that person hasn't known me in years. So their perspective of me may be different. I just think that, you know, unless you're unless the person has done something to make you do research, I don't think most people are doing that. I'm surprised to hear that because women are notorious for and literally the best detectives there are. I don't know why there aren't more women on the police force. I do. Even prior to social media, <laughs> women would run your license plate. They were checking online to see if you've been arrested but that's before. To see they know somebody are, if at you the have been arrested courthouse or, or whatever. If or if you're married. It's hey, not man. to see if you're a man. No, but I'm, I'm just saying like... When and not from the jump. I don't think that women are doing... I don't think that yeah, anybody... Yeah, they are. Maybe they, they are. are. I've never dated women, a woman, but are. I don't think that people Ladies, are doing it. comment below because, yeah, y'all are definitely... I'm, I know y'all are looking people okay. up. Struck a but chord. I, know. I, I feel convicted about that. But from the from the very first date, now I have heard girlfriends that say, I kind of like this guy. We're going out. There's some things I don't, and he hasn't, you know, I, there's some questions I have. Let me look some stuff up, right? I've looked a guy up, but it was not on before the first, the first date. No, never before the first like, date. Like they haven't never. even gone on a date. They were yeah, good, getting ready. They were I've preparing never. to go on a first yeah. date. I don't I think you have do as all much, that. I don't even have as much, like, I don't care that much before the first date. Like, I don't have enough invested to do research. Like, Right. You meet somebody, you yeah. get a phone number and a name, and maybe IG, and y'all follow each other, and then y'all talk a few times, you're preparing for a first date, and they tell you that. That's very, very early. I'm not yeah. sure that I'm willing to go through all that. I don't have time. I wouldn't have time to do that with every single person I've ever met. You know what I'm saying? So maybe mm-hmm. that's part of the reason here in this particular one yeah. where he was able to be fooled so quickly. Yeah. I okay. think, and then he, he went, he, he met her at an event. So there was interaction and, you know, and then again, there's a phone conversation and there was interaction. So I don't I think, think that, guys are a little slower to act anyway, though, to be honest. Do you have the, is that the actual post you were reading from or from a screenshot? That was the actual post. So what well, were the comments like below well, that? Well, okay. So the, con- the this is the issue because I actually talked to him about coming on the show and he was hesitant because of the way people responded. There were, females were very um, understanding, right? A lot of males were kind of like you, were like, oh no, you're supposed to check this and this and this. And I just think that people were speaking, they weren't speaking realistically, I don't think. I think that, I don't think many men would do that, especially if it looks a lot like a woman. I mean, it looks just like a woman, if it sounds like a woman, you know what I mean? I think that these guys who are commenting like that are a little premature mm-hmm. because I don't think we've seen the depths of how this is going to actually start to become. Right now, this is really just the initial stages mm-hmm. of this type of conversation happening before a first date. I think that there's much, much more of this to come, though. And those guys just haven't had the opportunity yet right. mm-hmm. to, to be faced that. with that. I like, agree. Me too. How did, how did it happen to me? Mm-hmm. Well, it happened to this guy. Right. And the fact that he's being honest about it. And I'm going to read 
um, a comment from a woman that I thought was a, was interesting. Right. You know, to hear you guys' feedback on this. So this uh, this poster says, my recommendation to all men is this. We women and they, trans, know that men are visual creatures. But when men started looking for the perfect looking woman, you opened yourself up to this. God created women that have flaws. I see you all rolling your eyes. Yes, we have rolls. We have a sagging booty after 30. I don't have a sagging booty, but I guess there are some sagging I'm disgusted Hold already. On. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. We, have, we have rolls. We have a sagging booty after 30. Man created, needle injected, augmented woman is your ideal eye candy. She has the perfect shape and body parts. A natural woman gets older in time. That's why we grow older together. The Barbie fake doll is frozen in time and at 50 has the body of a 16-year-old. Not to say she can't work out and keep in shape, but that's a lifestyle most fake people don't really have. That is why we say look more for a good-hearted woman more than a dime. You will more than likely get a jewel, but in looking for that arm piece or dime, more times than not, the dime you got is really a penny underneath. Okay, so this lady right here, she needs a reality check. Oh. It's her fault. She's, you're part of the problem, what? ma'am. Why? What happened, huh? Because you're the ones who let this shit happen. This wasn't guys. Go. Y'all Here let this go. bullshit happen. You started having gay best friends, and those gay best for y'all, no, no problem. The dude act just like you. He talk just like you. He walk just like you. Y'all talk about dicks together and stuff. That's okay with you. You was cool with that, right? So then let's let's include more people. So then trans transsexuals, transgenders, or however, whatever the, the technical term is, right? Decided, hey, well, we're gonna start doing our body like women. I didn't ask them to do that shit. I don't want them to there to be fake booties on women, but y'all started doing the same thing also. So the women are getting fake booties. The trans people are getting fake booties. Trans they look people. the same from the back. Your <laughs> booty and her booty look the same from they the do. back. They do. You're not calling these people out. You think dudes want that? You well, think you no, no, hold on. You think heterosexual dudes want that? We don't. And you know what? Let me say this. Call them out. I don't think that I don't think that your your friend or anyone else should be ashamed that they weren't a I mean I can understand being disappointed or beating yourself up but I don't think you should be ashamed or embarrassed because you aren't able to tell right. um that this person was transgender why because they have makeup and tools like there is an entire industry that's devoted to aiding these people in being able to quote unquote hide their flaws or present themselves as different than who they are. Right. Right? Right. So they got a lot of help. Right. Right? Right. Now, I mean, and I grew up in the era of the Maury show. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> right. And there were, he literally had an entire show right. where he would just bring transgenders out on stage mm -hmm. and let the audience guess. Right. Is it man or woman? Right. No, it's man. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. no, it's, and no one could tell, right? Like, that was the right. whole thing was that you couldn't tell. Right? So if you can't tell... That's not by the naked eye. Right. That that person obviously is skilled in in right. their makeup or whatever it is they do to mm -hmm. to hide their those manly right. body parts. Right. Right. But that's where your research and due diligence comes in nope. to protect yourself from she those types us. of potentially embarrassing Ke situations. Kevin, she blamed us, which is bullshit. She blamed us because <laughs> we want a perfect body. Call them out. It's your responsibility. To, if a woman is not a woman, women you call want her perfect out. Perfect bodies. Like what type? Rachel Dolezal. No, no. Rachel, Rachel Dolezal just said she was black, and y'all call her the fuck out. But you gonna let these dudes call themselves women, and nobody says anything? Be honest, is on the roll. Nobody right. says anything. I'm inclined to agree. I'm sorry. Okay, that's our fault. Right. I okay, I, but I. Crystal, will what say have you done to call somebody out? <laughs> What I have noticed is that the fake booties are getting a lot of a lot of likes on Instagram so, and on social media. So I'm assuming that men do like the fake booties. You can't put those together. Why not? You can't because you're assuming now the heterosexual males don't give a damn if it's a fake booty on a guy or a fake booty on a no, girl. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. I, I definitely think that heterosexual men want a fake booty on a woman. However, I do think they like fake booties. I don't, I don't like fake booties. I'm not saying whether or not other guys do, but that's right. not what we were accused of doing. Right, right. We were just blamed. She was saying that because you all are promoting this 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 falseness and that you want this that's not are real. Are we promoting it or are we liking it? It's not the same thing. Okay, that's that's fair. The woman fair. woman is promoting it. Y'all need to call these fake booty bitches out too. <laughs> I, and this uh, but then call blurry hate. lines. Then, 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 then people are going to say that we're hating. So are you hate, So, okay. Hey, but look though, all I'm saying no. is blaming us is ridiculous. And see, and, and here's, here's <laughs> let me follow up on that because men have always been vocal about saying, hey, this is what it is, this is what it, what it isn't, right? When, when transgender 
women try to be or 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 butch lesbians, right? Present themselves as men and they wear the caps and they shave their head and, and tie it down and all of that. We like, mm-hmm. yo, use not a man. Not at you're all. Not a man. Get the fuck out of here with that. Hey, talk all that shit you want to, right. but you're not a man. Kevin just right? lost. No, up, they right? will do right. that Seriously. all the time. Yeah. Women, I've never seen women do that. Bruce Jenner became woman of the year. Yeah. And I feel like it's insulting it is. for for a man right. to put on a dress, right. carry a purse, right. wear makeup, and call himself a woman as if that's all it takes to become a woman. Well, the, I guess the argument is that they feel like they were already a woman internally. They feel like their gender was not you know, what the genitalia they have doesn't match their gender. That's the argument there. Hey, I feel like I'm rich inside, but <laughs> somebody going to tell me to get my check up. Now, I, I will say there's some, there's, I definitely agree with you in the fact that, you know, there was a Facebook post, I think you and I talked about it briefly, where there were these transgender males that were racing and um, that were in a track meet. I think it was in co- in a college. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah, they were actually... upset. Yeah, parents were upset because the she transgender males records. were breaking... Re- well, they were winning as a team. They were running, they were running against other women. And we know that genetically... No, they were running against... Girl. Biological women. Right, biological women, exactly. Not other women. Right, okay. right. Biological women. They were men dressed as women running against actual biological women and they were smoking them. Like it was no, it was not even close. Men are, men are better. It's, and, and, right. And I'm like, we men know that j- biologically speaking, men are stronger, faster on average. They're, they're definitely right. they're some, outliers. Right. You said they're they're definitely earlier. some outliers, but right. we know, and so that's not a fair, that's not fair at all. You know what I mean? It's not fair to, to have someone that is a man compete against a woman in a sport that we know that men are genetically going to be a lot more advanced in that. I, th- I think that that's... I feel like there's a lack of integrity even for those men to step on the field right. and run as hard as... And take and walk away with a gold medal for having beat women. But they, again, they are, say, they are seeing themselves as women even though that's not what they're biologically created as. And I think that's a lot of people's uh, problem with transgenders is that if you want to call yourself that and mm-hmm. you want to live that lifestyle, like, I don't care how you want to dress because lots of people dress in funky right. ways. <laughs> right. right? <laughs> you wore a pink dashiki. You did with a with a with a decollete that's, uh, that's cleavage showing. Arguable, but that was for Juneteenth. And I heard you were deep V's too. <laughs> Shut up. Show your taco. You no damn deep V. <laughs> However, you almost threw me off my damn point. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, shit. I think what you're trying to say is, <laughs> you see, you fucking me up, right? But yeah, like you can do whatever you want to do, but that don't mean that everybody else has to buy into your illusion. That's how I feel all day long. I don't right. don't force me to a, a say, oh, that's great, it's awesome. If I don't if I don't agree with it, just let me be quiet with it. Or right. you know I what agree. I'm saying? Don't force me to say, nah, I'm not for this. Now, I so I I had a conversation with the guy in the post, and he said that, you know, after the transgender. Ex- you know, shared that he was transgender. They he he was not mean to her. So she's at the end of the conversation, she was like, wow, this is like a really this is my first positive experience with a straight male. Because I I'm assuming that she thought when I when she said I'm a transgender, he was gonna cuss her out or something like that. So that kind of brought up another point. Like, is there an issue? First of all, I th- I told him he should be happy that she acknowledged it because I've heard transgender say they don't feel like they sh- should have to tell a man that they used to be a man. That, you know, I said, you're lucky that she was honest before you went on the date because I do think everybody has a right to choose who they want to date. You know, if, if it's a... If it's a man who is doesn't have a job, I'd have a right to, to not go out with a man who doesn't have a job if I don't want to. I want to know things, certain things so that I can make a choice. Definitely if it's a woman, definitely if it's a, if it's a man who's married. Like there are certain things that people should share before they go out with you that I think is just across the board. You have a right to know. There's a lot of gray area there. There's no gray area. No, there I is. feel like no. if it's something that you know a person would, like if you were a sex offender, if you if it's something that uh, you if think the other person would right, <laughs> if, you're if it's married. something that you think the other person may choose differently or they just may need to know, right. then it's your responsibility to put that out there because and be forthcoming with that information. Sometimes the person is okay with it. There are some yeah. there are some people like but there are some choice. men. I believe I I was talking to a transgender uh, Shauna Brooks. I interviewed her for rolling out. Really good conversation. She said that there are a lot of men that will act like they're upset 
and then not really be upset. You know what I mean? But they 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 consider themselves straight. No receipts, nigga. I'm tired of hearing that. But, they, but, I, but I, she had receipts. She had receipts. How? She had receipts. There Which? are lots of Which men. Receipts? Is it really a she? It's a it's a it's it's a transgender. She's a. Tra- I'm sorry. She's a transgender. <laughs> I'm just. I'm I'm on eggshells because I don't want any trouble. <laughs> but but she's a transgender. But she's there are men <clears throat> that consider themselves straight. I understand. What are the receipts? She has receipts. What I mean, does that mean? I'm telling you, there's uh, there's video. She has a video of a lot of men that consider themselves straight, that <clears throat> enjoy being with a woman that is that still has male genitalia. Okay, but mentally they are in no, a weird place. See, but that's the idea. The idea that I have a problem with though is her saying that they act like they're not, and then they do. I don't. I want to see the receipts of the guys acting like they are somewhere. Well, acting like is being that don't want to be associated in public. Show but me she wants all you of to that. Come over and show private. me all of that because those are receipts to me saying that they're guys. She has who, that. No, but listen, you're not listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> She's telling you that they were had a problem with it in public, and then here's the proof of it in pop private. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, show me that receipt that that happened in public. Fuck, I don't mess with no 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 no. And then all of a sudden, they're all nice and sweet on the phone. That's a receipt to me. Say, showing the receipt. Well, I mean, it would be hard, would be hard to, to to say exactly. that because that would not be. But, but the but, narrative is getting painted. There's so many down low dudes in Atlanta. Like that's. I show me the receipts. Show me that they're acting like this one way and they're acting like this another way. You I have mean, to show fact, both of the them, fact not that just you one. Could be a transgender escort and and and. And be living very lavishly is proof oh. that there are some people that are in the some closet people. that don't want to come out. But and she said, still consider themselves straight. Like will get upset if someone calls them gay. There were actually when she came to do the interview with me, there were two guys with her that I would have thought were straight men. Okay, and I think I shared this with one of the guys. Actually, reached out to me afterwards to like kind of hit on me, and I was thoroughly confused because he was he looked straight. He was with her. Well, he hit on you. And then he hit on me, which is really weird. Well, he was with her for, in what capacity? I guess they had had interaction. And well, you know what? I, I understand that, especially in this stage of, you know, our, our, our country, everyone is, re- especially millennials, are rejecting labels. Mm-hmm. Right? Very true. They don't want to be, like, if society says that man is this mm-hmm. and woman is that, then I don't want to be this and right. I don't want to be that. Right. I don't, there are rich people that don't want to be rich. There are poor people that don't want to be poor. Never heard so about the So on and so people. forth. Right? I mean, you know, there's a there's a lot going on. Okay. But, okay. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'll boil it down to that. There we go. But, um, God damn it, I don't even know where the fuck I'm going <laughs> like, with this shit now. Threw me off with the rich people. Right. It's like, hey. Where are they at? I'll try to answer it when we try to finish your statement again. Please go for it. I have no idea. Sorry, I have no idea. What you're I do think. Say. I think because I think Janelle Janelle Monet just recently came out and come on, and man. says she's pansexual. Janelle Monet is full of shit. <laughs> right. Cut that shit out, man. What are you? What are you? What are you talking about? You don't. You don't have a preference. Fine, but what is? Come on. What is all this stuff going? Well, on? it's just another term. So this, is that is that asexual? I don't I know. Asexual I, think it's, no I think it's just like you're hey, open a video to on just internet. people. Like whatever I, whatever whoever I connect with, whoever I, it can be a person that's a male or a female. I don't have a choice. I don't have a preference between those two. Girls have a problem. Women have a problem with that, though, right? What does that mean? You have a problem with a guy being that, right? I would. Yeah. I mean, because I, I would just feel like I want to know that, and I would. To me. He's gay. Yeah. yeah. Well, if he likes, if he likes, if he's pansexual or whether he's gay. Yeah. See, but I think that I think that women who um, I won't say gay, but I think women who have sex with women also that's you're not straight. Right. No, you're not. Well, you're gay. Well, you're not gay because you have sex with guys too. It's bisexual or whatever. But what I'm saying is though, <laughs> it's, wh- it's bisexual. That's what so, it is. Two bi. So guys that have sex with women and men are bisexual also. They are, but you just saying gay, right? But for me, in my head, I just put them in that pile because I don't. I'm not open to being with a man that's 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 bisexual. There's that to me. That's there's black and white. There's gay and not gay. Then okay. So if there's black and white in that sense, then how come you have allowed? These men to infiltrate woman, womanness, womanhood. You have well. I don't think, and I think I brought this up to you before. Understand that women and men are different from a from a, a very huge like biological standpoint in presence. So when a man, men can men, I've seen men be very um, confront butch lesbians. Like you're not. This yes. is not it. But you have the benefit of being a man and still having that presence. And and women are are gen- generally not all the time smaller and not as strong as men. So if a if a woman challenges a man, and we've seen this happen before, 
a gay man, a woman challenges a gay man, even a transgender, that person is a lot stronger. The man is a lot stronger than the woman. Biological man, a lot stronger than woman. You ain't got to fight this nigga, man. But I'm saying if he, fun, show, if, he if, if your gay friend shows up and y'all about to go to the club and he shows up looking like a woman, I don't want to go no more. You don't have to be like, I'm going to fight you I mean, until I don't you have take any, that wig off. But I don't have any friends that do that. But I'm sure that Some, there are. Someone has allowed this infiltration to happen. Well, I don't know who these people are. And now are. it's rampant. And so there, we're going to have more and more situations like this where this guy is questioning himself because he wasn't sure. Well, I don't think he should question himself because I think he should. He, because the, the, the transgender had obviously had Pulled hormones. Because for her voice to sound like a woman, there's a difference in men and women's yeah, voices. Yeah, but they, that's an act though because a lot of times, especially if you <laughs> make a mad, they'll drop that voice real quick. <laughs> that's what they'll seen bring that, that shit right Right up. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> I, I don't know, but I, I think it was un, it was unfair that he was judged so harshly on um, social media. Like, I think that that was unfair from men. And so I'm wondering, like, how would you all handle that situation? I think he handled it, you know, great. Yeah. I think he talked to her and wanted to, you know, he was, then he, I think he wanted to know more information about, like, how is this going? Again, I credit her for telling him because I think it's wrong when someone doesn't isn't told because they feel tricked. Right. Not right. Well, okay, so I'm going to take it back to the, the foundation, I think, of it. And it's really about a man and another man, in, 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 a man and another man's interaction. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? I know that I have ma- masculine features, you know, a strong jawline, broad shoulders. Like, I have those things, right? But that doesn't mean that gay guys have not complimented me before. Okay. So in, tell us about that. Okay, situation. so in, in those situations, I can think of one in particular. So once I had pretty hair. Okay. All I said was thank you. Okay. And kept it moving. Right. It don't have to be a situation like, am I gay now? Because he likes right. my hair. Right. That, he likes my hair. Right. It's still a compliment. I'm not saying I want somebody to say, oh, nice print, but you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I like your hair. Okay, thank you. And what if he it, said, it moving. Boy, I'm like, like you, man, get the fuck out of here, man. I ain't no right. faggot. I'm not doing that. That's silly. Right. That's what if one hit on you? What how hit how? Like, I want to take you out? Like I sure would like to know what's underneath that starving artist T-shirt. No, I'm, I'd be like, no, I'm I'm good. I would say I'm good. I wouldn't want to say I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even take it to a sectional place. I'd be like, okay. I'm good. Thank you. No, not my thing, man. Yeah, you know something, okay. something like that. I had a guy one time at. I was a kid, basically. I was probably six, seventeen or so, and I was walking past this before or after candy. Walking past a Marta bus station, <laughs> and um, a guy said, "Hey, do you have the time?" Uh huh. This was just a regular ass white dude just sitting at the bus stop. <laughs> Do you have the time? And I was like, uh, certain, certain, certain. I was like, hey, do you want your dick sucked? Oh. And, I, and I just said no and walked on. <laughs> like, what, like some guys feel like they have to fight that guy or something. Right, 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 right. I, I don't take it that way. I, I take it as he, he shot his shot. Right. He shot, he missed. You know what I'm right. saying? That's what it is. The guy who said I had pretty hair, he shot his shot. Right. That's not so what I'm into. you feel like your masculinity yeah, you was threatened. fast walk away from I, I know that my jawline is strong. You know what I'm saying? I know that my shoulders he are broad. You didn't say that. I may be attracted no one to, has said that. I may be attracted to some dudes also. Say, I'm not... <laughs> Why would I be like? Why would I? Why would I make that take internalize that? Like, oh God, I can't have these broad shoulders. Guys might like said me. That's something about it. This, I mean, this, this strong jawline. I need to get that worked on and get it like I'm more glad, narrow. I'm glad dudes <laughs> don't do that. Like, post selfies and be on the internet. Right. Okay, shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, neckline. <laughs> Yeah. No, but I, I'm not going to internalize that because he <laughs> gave me a compliment. That's really but all ridiculous. All he said was hair, though. Right, 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 right. No, but my you're point, assuming that he also liked your shoulders and jawline. I mean, I'm not saying that he did. I'm just saying that <laughs> the things that See. that make a guy a guy. I'm oh, not gonna. Now you're coming back to what I was about the attractiveness. Men don't even compliment no. men like men's compliments on hair. We'll say, "Oh, them waves are spinning, ain't they, new?" I you some shit like that, nigga. It ain't. <laughs> I don't Ooh, know. Your hair is not. No, we I not had a guy have that conversation. I had a guy one time at Kroger. I was in the self checkout line, and something happened. where We had to call the person over. Okay. This person happened to be a guy. I don't know if he was gay or not. He didn't seem like he wasn't flamboyant. Okay. But his his comment struck me as weird. Okay. He yeah. smelled my uh, uh, conditioner and named it. Your and hair. Like, yeah. Okay. I was like, it was like, I can't remember which one it was. He's did like, he lean in and he was like, take a sniff? No, I, I didn't notice. He, if he did, it was behind me. But look, though, I don't remember which one it was. But he's he did like, a deep breath with his eyes closed? No, but it was real gay. It was like, it was like Garnier Fructis. I'm like, what the fuck? Is that a, that's not even a question, is it? Hey, nigga, but I'm going to tell you right now, do a fast walk. But whatever fast it was, he got it, he got it right. He got and it I was right. Like, so uh, you were using Garnier Fructis. I'm, I don't remember which one it was, but that yeah. just sounded real funny right there. So look, though. I was like, yeah, but then he said, like, okay, good. And that was it. Okay. 
I didn't give him any impression that, oh, yeah, I want you to take this further. Oh, you use that too? What kind you use? It was like none of the that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to internalize someone being attracted to me, whether whatever they are. I just right. keep it moving. At right. best, that person was socially awkward. Because the, <laughs> the fact that he even brought that up. <laughs> nah, no, man. I mean, I don't think so. I think I think that may be a normal thing when it, you know. That's not the that's, typical pickup line. Nah. That, well, yeah. I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe your hair smelled he, good. He's being creative. Yeah. Hey, but regardless. <laughs> and then he said it with a deep voice, like, hey, is that uh, no, Kanye it, fruit? It was totally neutral. That's why I couldn't read it and I didn't want to try. Nah, I didn't man. even look at him when I said, nah. oh, yeah, it is. And he was like, I was still trying to get my stuff together, whatever he punched on the, on the little screen. Like, are, are those bugle boy jeans you're wearing? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hell no. Nah. So, but Kevin. Hell no, nah, nigga. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. So, okay. Have you been hit on Kevin? By a gay man, yes. yes. Okay, and and how'd that go? How did I look afterwards? Run, a, uh, run it no. through us. Run, run it by us. Come what on. What do you man. mean? What did he I had, say? Hell, I was I was at. You remember when um, in Atlantic Station they had a, a, a restaurant that was it was it Fox Grill or Fox something Port, like that? Sure, yes. sure okay, yeah. Twist. Yeah, there was no. I was there. Shut up, twist. I was Switch. at. Sure I was had, I was actually on a date with my lady at the time. And we had a gay waitress. Okay. And he was like doing, he was like. A waiter, gay waiter. Okay. <laughs> he said it the waitress. No, like a girl. because he was clearly, he was clearly very feminine. And it okay. was like, it was weird because my lady and that person had like this little exchange squaring off. Oh, like, like he, he was, was trying to her? He was, no, like, like he was trying to, uh, uh. Like he was trying to be disrespectful to her, trying to get at me. Like it was, it was like a girl fight. What? Yeah, like it was the I'm weirdest conf- shit. So ever. you had a gay dude fight over you? I'm confused. I, that's, that's far not more bragging rights. That's I'm, far more gay than my. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how did what did what did he say? Like I don't. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like because if you're on a date with a girl, that has to be a very bold person to try to challenge your girl. Like I mean. Oh right. So gay. You telling me gay people ain't bold? What was I've just what was never the tip like? Yeah. What kind of tip did you give him? <laughs> What did he say? He didn't get a tip. I'm just trying to figure out what did he say. Kevin is, maybe Kevin is he's tip. leaving something out of this story. Yeah, that, there's that, a really big that's element. That's why I keep here. pushing right, here okay, because yeah. I just sense that there's something there's, there's else. Something he's not right. telling. Matter of fact, if somebody, if you and my friends and you heard me tell that story before, because I don't please, remember all the shit. Please, but, because yeah. something is missing. Chime all, in. All I'm saying, the way I connect that is, is this particular guy who who went through that situation, maybe ordeal to him. Right. It doesn't mean. That he's necessarily gay. Now let me ask you a question. Let me just take it a little bit further. What if a guy meets a transgender and enjoys conversation with them, and then learns later, like say they go on a couple of dates, there's no physical sex, but then they realize maybe four dates in that it's a transgender, and then they're still attracted to. I mean, they still they've developed a, a liking for the who this person is now. Does that make them gay? Tough. This is tough. It's getting tougher now because the idea here is it's twofold to me because I see it like this. The woman, the, the man who is now a, a woman, woman right. has done everything to, to mimic a woman, mm-hmm. looks, acts, talks, walks, whatever, yeah. like a woman. Mm-hmm. And this guy has become attracted to that look, talk, walk, smell, whatever. Indeed. And so that's a tough one because yeah. when you get that far in now you've developed something besides just mm-hmm. attraction mm-hmm. there may be something it's a connection and maybe right. they have a maybe they've because the guy said he he enjoyed talk they had a, like a two hour conversation he's like I don't really talk to girls on the phone for two hours unless I really enjoy their conversation so right. that could also make a person feel could make them question their sexuality but really you're right that has nothing to do with their sexuality because they are drawn to the idea of this being a woman. Right. So at that point, you have to just be real with yourself. Are you willing to suck a dick? Well, uh, Shauna Brooks like, calls share, it banana pussy. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> he calls it banana pussy. <laughs> I'm not, I would never, I, mean, I would never accept that. that. <laughs> it's, it's called banana pussy. I can't imagine why it would be it called that. It is not called banana pussy. <laughs> Who gave you that? Shauna. What? Yeah, Shauna says it. Are you willing to suck a banana pussy? All these blurry, let's I, could, God, I couldn't no. let it get away. <laughs> oh. Hey, listeners, we appreciate you guys too. And viewers, we appreciate you guys. I can't believe my family's not ashamed of me for doing this <laughs> well, shit. They like, may be. They may be. Yo. You don't know. Fuck? Oh. Banana pussy. Like, like, share, subscribe, uh, comment. Yeah. I'm sure people have a lot to say about this topic. <laughs> we'll see y'all next see week. See you guys next week. Music Club Life.